It is important that you follow the specific installation instructions for each hanger wear pad number. The drilling location of each OEM hanger and EWP hanger wear pad needs to be followed closely. This is very important. Installation procedures must be followed to ensure that the wear pad stays in the proper position and that the wear pad performs to its maximum potential. The top of the hanger wear pad must be installed on the axle side of the hanger. Incorrect installation may result in the wear pad being pushed out by the spring. It will also result in the hanger not being protected. The tools needed for installing the hanger wear pads include one drill motor, one 5 16 one 11 32nd, and one 3 8 drill bit, one white marker, also one 9 16 wrench, one 9 16 deep well socket, one 3 8 drive ratchet, one half inch deep well socket, and one half inch end wrench. We're on the HH wear pad. The EWP hanger wear pad hole placement must be marked and drilled for each wear pad. You will use the hole in the fender washer from the bolt kit as a guide to mark the wear pad for hole drilling. It is important to use the recommended drill bit. First, you must locate the top of the wear pad. Each wear pad has a picture in the installation instructions to assist you in finding the top. In general, the top is located on the wear pad's shorter flat side. Mark the location as top. I put a T here to mark it. Place the fender washer on the top outer edge of the wear pad so that it is positioned on this edge and also in the middle of the two and three quarter inch wide part. Mark the drill hole position through the washer, like so. Remove and set the washer aside until bolt installation and then drill the marked hole location with a 3 8 inch drill bit. It's recommended that existing wear pads, protection products, old existing welds, and fasteners be removed before installation of the EWP wear pads. If the wear pad is installed over a sharp object, it may cut into the wear pad and cause the wear pad to be damaged. If you install the wear pads over an old style steel wear pad, there must be no sharp edges. Each OEM hanger needs to have a hole drilled in it to attach the wear pad. Do not use pre-drilled holes that may be in the OEM hanger from the manufacturer. Hole size needs to be exact. Therefore, if an OEM hanger has an existing hole in it, you still must drill a bolt hole for the EWP wear pad. Hold the wear pad in place. We'll make sure that the wear pad is in the center of the width of the hanger. The gap should be even on both sides. Using the pre-drilled wear pad hole as a guide, mark the spot that you will be drilling into the OEM hanger. The wear pad should be positioned so that the 3 8 wear pad hole is on the axle side of the OEM hanger. Remove and set aside the hanger wear pad until bolt installation. Drill an 11 32nd hole into the OEM hanger. Make sure you're using the correct drill bit, 11 32nds. Hanger wear pad needs to be placed properly into the OEM hanger. Hold the wear pad in place and the EWP wear pad shape will conform to the shape of the inside of the OEM hanger. Place the 3 8 fender washer on the wear pad over the drill hold. Put the self-tapping bolt through the fender washer, then the wear pad, then the OEM hanger. Make sure that the fender washer is directly on the wear pad. Ready to go. Okay, we've secured the bolt in place, and here we have the proper installation for the HH wear pad. You can see it looks nice, it's tight. Also, it's a good idea to check your fasteners periodically. Recheck the fasteners to make sure that they have not loosened. Retighten if necessary. Each wear pad must be marked and drilled. You will use the hole in the washer from the bolt kit as a guide to mark the wear pad for hole drilling. It is important to use the recommended drill bit. First, you must locate the top of the wear pad. Each wear pad has a picture in the installation instructions to assist you in finding the top. In general, the top is located on the wear pad's shorter flat side. Mark the location as top. I put a T here 
to market. And we determined the EWP wear pad hole placement by using the 5 16 washers. And you want to be flush here and flush on that edge there. Make your drill hole like so. Same, same thing on this side. This takes two fasteners. Okay, so we've got that marked and uh, that was the HH1. It's recommended that existing wear pads, protection products, old existing welds and fasteners be removed before installation of the EWP wear pads. If the wear pad is installed over a sharp object, it may cut into the wear pad and cause the wear pad to be damaged. If you install the wear pads over an old style steel wear pad, there must be no sharp edges. Each OEM hanger needs to have a hole drilled in it to attach the wear pad. Do not use pre-drilled holes that may be in the OEM hanger from the manufacturer. Hole size needs to be exact. Therefore, if an OEM hanger has an existing hole in it, you still must drill a bolt hole for the EWP wear pad. You will use the wear pad that has been drilled as a guide to mark the OEM hanger for hole drilling. Place the hanger wear pad onto the underside of the OEM hanger. The wear pad should be positioned so that the 5 16 wear pad holes are on the axle side of the OEM hanger. Also make sure that the wear pad is in the center of the width of the hanger. The gap should be even on both sides. The wear pad should conform to the shape of the OEM hanger. Hold the wear pad in place. Using your pre-drilled wear pad holes as a guide mark, mark the spots that you will be drilling into the OEM hanger. Remove and set aside the hanger wear pad until bolt installation. Drill the 5 16 holes into the OEM hanger at the marked location. Make sure you are using the correct drill bit. The hanger wear pad needs to be placed properly into the OEM hanger. The wear pad must be on the axle side. Place the wear pad onto the underside of the OEM hanger and line up both holes. Hold the wear pad in place. Place the 5 16 washer on the wear pad over the drilled hole. Put the threads of the bolt through the flat washer, then the wear pad, then the OEM hanger. Make sure that the flat washer is directly on the wear pad. Same for the second hole. Secure the bolt in place with a self-locking nut and repeat for the second bolt. Got that one. So here's the uh, proper installation of the wear pad for the HH1. There you go. Ready to roll on down the road. Also, it's a good idea to check your fasteners periodically. Recheck the fasteners to make sure that they have not loosened. Retighten if necessary.